Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing a semi-permanent rinse on my hair. As some of you guys know I did used to dye my hair before I had my son. I used to do it every 6 to 12 months and I stopped dyeing my hair when I was pregnant because obviously you can't dye your hair when you're pregnant. So today I'm going to try a semi-permanent dye instead of a permanent dye because I am more aware of damaging my hair and having my hair being dried out from the dye. So I'm going to try to go down the semi-permanent route, see how I like it. I am going to go ahead and straighten my hair afterwards as well and trim my hair as well. So if you do want to see the videos for that, that should be coming up after this video, I think. Or maybe before, it should be up on my channel now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shampoo my hair first because that's what it says to do on the instructions. And this is what my hair is looking like at the moment. I just went ahead and pre-pooed my hair with this Moisture Miracle Aloe and Coconut Water Detangle and Condition Pre-Shampoo. That video should definitely be up on my channel now. So if you do want to see that video, go ahead and check it out. So I just detangled my hair, all that jazz, and just twisted my hair back up. And now I'm just going to go ahead and shampoo my hair come back and then do the rinse so this is what it says on the packaging it's the creative image adore in jet black it's a shining semi-permanent hair color it's vegan cruelty free it has no alcohol no peroxide no ammonia and it says for a vibrant shining color that gives hair a beautiful sensual feel and color that really lasts <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. The directions say to shampoo and towel dry and then to use a protective cream around hairline. So I'm assuming Vaseline, maybe, I'm not sure. Um, and then apply the hair color one eighth from scalp and comb through thoroughly. Cover with plastic cap and process with heat for up to 15 minutes. Rinse and shampoo. Hmm, okay. So one eighth from scalp, hmm. I'm just going to apply it as close to my scalp as possible, but not actually touch my scalp. That's what I'm going to do. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so I just changed my t-shirt because I don't want to get my other t-shirt messed up. So I just put on an old t-shirt. I was going to use like a hairdressing cape. So I do have one when I do my son or my boyfriend's hair, but I couldn't find it. So this has got to do. So it says to apply a cream around the hairline. I'm not exactly sure what they mean by that but I'm not going to put Vaseline because my skin is sensitive and it will flare up with anything heavy on my face so I'm just going to use my face cream that I usually use and put that around my hairline yeah, it's just like that really don't really want it to not touch my baby hairs because I want all my baby hairs to catch it I'm just going to wipe the cream off my baby hair I'm going to part my hair off into four yeah, I'm just starting off in this back section here. I don't know if one pot, one bottle is going to do my hair. I should have got two, but I'm going to see how I go. Oh. Looks like it was open, the seal was broken. Interesting. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know where to put it. Right. Let's hope it doesn't ruin my nails. Yeah, taking about that much. It's gonna, it's gonna stain my hands. I can tell. Oh, it's gonna stain my hands. Okay, well, wear gloves. <laughs> it's too late for me now. I mean, I don't know why I thought I could do this without gloves. I mean, I don't have any gloves to use anyway. If that makes me feel any better, but. My hands are gonna be seriously like stained. Oh, I'm gonna make sure to get inside the sections as well. So I'm just applying this like I would do my gel or any other product. And it seems to be covering quite nice. I think I am gonna be all right with just the one jar. Okay, so I'm just gonna twist it up so it doesn't get in my way. I'm gonna get my baby hairs in because when I dye my baby hairs, they look a lot thicker. So I'm gonna get as close to the hairline as possible without getting it on my skin. I'm just gonna use generous amount because I know that I'm not gonna run out now. So if you have short hair, I don't think you would need to use the whole bottle. I know that my gray hairs are at the back. 
I'm gonna make sure to get that section good and proper. You know, I can't see them, but I know they're there. On the viewfinder, it looks really black from here. Ooh, love it. Yeah, because my hair is naturally 1B. It's not quite black. It's like got a little bit of a brown hue on it. Get into the section. And get those baby hairs as well. This side feels a lot better than that side. Got a lot more product on this side, so I'm gonna add a thick layer on this side. <sighs> Messy work. I shouldn't have done this in my red in my bedroom. Should have done this in the bathroom. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna put some on the perimeter of my hair as well. Uh oh, I think I got it on my neck. <laughs> oh, great, beautiful. I'm just gonna pile it off again. Just make sure that those grey hairs at the back are covered. Just gonna slather it on. Grays be gone. <laughs> I've got, still got quite a bit in here. So, I mean, how long is the shelf life? 12 months. Maybe I'm gonna save it. I think I've used of only half. Can't see inside it to check. I don't know. I feel like my hair is completely covered. Nah, I'm just going to use it all. I've tried to use it all. I'm just going to really lather it on. Just so that the hairs can be as covered as possible. It wasn't that much at all. I think it was about two pounds or... No, maybe four pounds. Um, it doesn't really have a smell. Yeah, it just has like a clean scent. So nothing toxic. Doesn't smell toxic. It says to comb through, but I think the finger detangling will be just fine. Wow, still quite a lot of product left. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going, just keep going. I guess they say to keep it off your scalp because it's gonna dye my scalp. Look how it's all over my face. Oh, Jesus, this is messy work. I hope it doesn't stain my face. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. I try and keep it off your face, girl. Come on, darling. You can do it. Oh, still more. This more. I'm supposed to set this with heat as well. It's taking forever. Well. I definitely think I could probably get to use this out of this because, okay, we're coming to the end. <sighs> I don't know how I'm gonna get out of my room without touching my bed. This is a disaster, now it's on my wall. Okay. Ah, fantastic. I guess we're done with that bowl. Well, I think the bottle should say, make sure to use gloves. I mean, you're gonna have thick people like me who just don't have no common sense. Just applying semi-permanent dye with their bare hands. I'm just gonna use this clip since it's dirty already. And then, how am I gonna touch anything with these hands? I need to get out. Ugh, I need to stop the camera. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out. I'm back. I washed my hands. <laughs> They're a little bit stained and my nails didn't make it, unfortunately. Yeah, my nails didn't make it, so I'm gonna have to repaint them. Ugh, I'm so pissed off. Anyway, so I'm going to put my cap on and apply heat for 15 minutes. And that's all 
done. Whew. So I'm not even gonna try and touch it before I get into that shower. Um, I got a lot of it off. It's just my actual nail polish is ruined. I spent time with this yesterday, you know. Anyway, but yeah, it's not that bad. Yikes. Anyway, I'm just gonna wash it out quickly and I'm just gonna rinse the water on top of it. Just get all the color off as much as I can and then go ahead and shampoo because the instructions say to shampoo afterwards. So I don't know what that's gonna do for my silk press because it's gonna wipe away all the deep conditioning I did. Maybe I should have done the deep conditioner after. And now I've just added my conditioner again and just combed it out. I'm just gonna twist it up and leave it in for like 15 minutes. Oh, it looks good though. Messy as hell, but it's good. Yeah, just treat it as normal hair dye. It's gonna stain everything that it touches. I've got a little bit of my bed sheets, a little bit of my wall, all over my nails. Terrible. Feels good, nice and soft. <sighs> yeah, so I'm just gonna put my hair up like these. Put on this shower cap as well. Ouch. Just like that. And then just leave that on for 15 minutes. And I'll be back to show you guys how it looks straight after rinsing and then the result after I straighten my hair. So I'll see you guys soon. Two hours later. So I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it looks really, really black to me. It looks really dark. <laughs> I'm so gassed. So, yeah, so this is what my hair looks like after I've washed out the conditioner and the deep conditioner. It's really nice, light and fluffy, still damp. And the color is really black. <laughs> it's really black. Um, let me show you the back. So I usually have grays all at the back there. I don't know, can you see any grays? Should I get up close for you guys? Yeah, let me get up close. Now this a deep squat right now. I don't have Megan knees, sorry mate. <laughs> so yeah, that's what it looks like at the back. And now I'm just gonna blow dry and straighten my hair. So yes guys, that's the end of this tutorial. I'm extremely happy with the product, even though it didn't catch my gray hairs. I think it'll be perfect for anyone who just wants a boost of color. They also have like a range of colors as well. So you can actually buy red, purple, or blue to get like a slight color on your black hair. But as I said, it's perfect if you just want that boost of color for like a special occasion. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see any more hair tutorials for myself. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.